Hi YouTube, it's Ben Withers. Just uh, applied a couple of coats of the Helfords Grey Primer just to seal everything up. I've also done the inside. I'll probably, I'm thinking, I'll paint the inside black because detail wise the doors are so small you won't see anything inside. So, so that's where we're at at the moment. A bit better, so obviously, I'm gonna experiment with some uh, brick painting later on. So, uh, this is seven o'clock in the morning, out and about early, nothing to do. So, I thought I'll get a coat on this. So, uh, I'm gonna, like I say, do a few experiments, a little bit of filling in a couple of places to do, but uh, on the whole, looking pretty good. Hi, everyone. Um, the clip you've just seen was probably done about uh, six weeks ago. I've been trying different uh, colours and so on and I have painted this probably twice and not really been happy with it. But I've now come up with this colour and I picked up this. It's uh, Johnston's Test Pot Fiery Sunset. So. I wanted a bit of an orangey base looking at the photographs. The trouble is, is trying to replicate something that's uh, in natural light has been bloody awkward. So uh, obviously I've given this a coat all over and that's painted over the previously finished um, painting that I did. So what I'll probably do in a minute uh, is show you how I'm going to try and get like the brick effect and hopefully it will work out okay or possibly this will get edited out and we'll try another colour but uh, we'll set the old camera up on a tripod and perhaps try a bit. Oh evening, um, an early time to say Happy New Year but not quite. thought I'd come down and have a hour and have another go at this painting. You obviously you've seen uh, I applied this uh, orange as a base coat finally picked up it's just a Johnston's uh, test pot fiery sunset give me a orangey background and what I'm going to do is uh, just have a quick paint over and show uh, what we do with the to do the joints so what I've got here is the um, I'm using the woodland scenics I think it is uh, road system concrete finish so uh, I'll just paint this all a minute show you what we do now, I've been experimenting with this for it's probably four or five times I've had a go at this and I've not really been happy with the effects that I've got the colors uh, and this bit especially painting in the actual brick joint so uh, but just to give you an idea of what we do so that has been thinned down probably about 50 50 thinners on the uh, paint and uh, there's not a lot of finesse with this it's a bit of a slap it on job make sure all the joints are filled up Obviously if it's too thick it dries out too quickly and if it's too thin when you wipe it off it tends to pull it out of the joints. Uh, obviously the camera might not pick it up that well but leave them uh, dry for a little bit and then uh, with a bit of paper towel I'll, uh, just wipe over it. Now obviously the um, oh, the sorry it'll come to me in a minute that's old age. The emulsion I've used is water based so obviously this will rub it off a little bit but uh, just bear with me I'm trying to hold the camera and do this. It does take a little bit of extreme pressure to get it off the face of the bricks. I 
on the whole. You get the idea, and obviously in places it's going to going to actually clean the joints right out. But obviously on, if you look at pictures of brickwork, older brickwork that is, sometimes you'll have a bit of dirt over it. And it might it might take away the effect a little bit, but. I'll leave it to that on that bit. I mean, obviously, I've done done all these panels, and what I'll do afterwards, probably tomorrow, we'll have a go at dry brushing over it to see if we can get some variation. It will. It does tend to leave a almost like a white film over your base coat, but hopefully, with a bit of dry brushing, we'll lose that. But colour-wise, I think he's looking better than what I'd previously had. So uh, we'll. Uh, take a look hopefully tomorrow on New Year's Day and uh, see how it turns out well happy New Year to everyone um, I think we finally got to a colour that I'm fairly happy with basically uh, after doing that wash of the joints I dry brushed um, these Revel aqua colours I went over with uh, rust 83 and then I dabbed on a little bit of the uh, 84 which is leather brown and I almost say we've got uh, a finish that's finally acceptable so it's come up yeah, quite pleased so uh, we will uh, just cut it there a minute and we'll have a look at what else I've done. Yeah, so the next thing I've done was uh, put these uh, doors together that uh, Justin Noble made from uh, Scale Model Scenery. And then they come in three sections. Obviously, that's the front with the hinges you can see just inlaid on the corners there. That's the inner leaf which you stick to the back of those, and that's the bracing that you then stick onto the back. And what we end up with is something like this. Not too bad to put together, um, even down to the fact that the little pedestrian door within the doors you could cut out. So I thought we'll have one with the door open, even got the bracing on the back. Um, I'll tell you what I used to glue it together, which uh, is a superb product. It's the Deluxe Materials Rocket Card Glue. And it's bonds, card, wood and plastic. And use it very sparingly. Um, and it's got, well, probably dries in about 30 30 seconds on on this wood but yeah it goes together really well and obviously there's the detail on the back of the doors so probably I'm gonna spray these up next get some primer on them uh, and then obviously decide on the color fit all these windows in the back of that shed and we're starting to take shape so uh, more than likely I'm going to leave this video to that. It's dragged on quite a bit. Um, so we just end up saying Happy New Year to everyone. Sorry it's taken so long to get to this stage. But uh, I think we're finally getting there. As I say, bye for now.